In this video, we are going to be looking at how to generate an Instagram access token, which is basically a set of characters that allows applications like a website gain access to Instagram feeds. So essentially, we're going to be looking at how to generate and add an Instagram access token to this website using the Stratum Elementor widget plugin. So let's get started. Now, the first step we want to take will be to open up developers.facebook.com. So I'm just going to come down to our search bar and type in developers.facebook.com. Now the display here may actually vary for the time and also the location you are viewing this from. Now once we're brought onto this page, we'll also want to make sure to be logged into our Facebook account for us to be able to create our Instagram access token. Now coming down here, we want to click on my apps. The next thing we want to do is to click on create app and this should bring up this pop-up where we have the option to select our app type. So we're just going to click on this and then click on continue. Now this should bring up the next prompt where we have the option to title our app display name. So I'm just going to put in display feeds. Also we want to put in our contact email address into this field and then click on create app. Now the next step we want to take would be to set up our Instagram basic display app. So I'm just going to click on set up and that should take us to this page. So I'm just going to scroll down and as we can see here, we have a little button that says create a new app and that's what we want to click on. And once we've selected that, that should bring up this pop-up where we have the option to also title our display name. I want to stick with display feeds and I just need to click on create app. Okay. So once we've selected that, that should bring us to this page. And all we need to do is to put in our website URL into these three fields. So I'm just going to come down to our website copy this and in here we simply need to paste the URL we just copied. So I'm just going to click on this. I also want to paste the URL into these two fields. And once we've done that, we can just click on save changes. Next, we want to scroll down and in here we have the option to add an Instagram tester. So I'm just going to scroll down and in here where it says Instagram testers, so we want to click on this button. And we want to put in the Instagram username into this field. Now I want to come down to Instagram. Since I'm already logged into this account, I simply need to come down to this icon and then select settings. Now once we've selected that, we can see we have our username in here. So I'm just going to copy this, come back to this tab and then paste our username in here. So I'm just going to click on this and then select submit. Once we've selected that, that should refresh this page. And as we can see, it says pending which means we need to activate this user to be able to have access to the Instagram access token. So coming back to our Instagram account, I'm just going to come down to apps and website and we should see this option in here, which says tester invite. So I'm just going to click on that. And as we can see, we have our app ID display name. So I'm just going to click on accept. And if we come back to this tab and refresh this, this should be changing from pending to active. Now, the next thing we want to do is to come down to product to select this and want to click on basic display. Next, we want to scroll down and we should see this option in here to generate a token. So I'm just going to click on that. And in here, we want to put in our Instagram username and also our password. And we should be presented with this prompt. So we want to click on the allow button and we can see our Instagram access token in here. So I'm just going to click on, I understand. And we can simply copy the Instagram access token and then select done. Now, once we've done that, we can simply click on save changes. Now we have our Instagram access token generated. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add in the Instagram access token into our website. Moving on to adding the Instagram access token onto our website. I'm just going to come down to this tab. Now, this portfolio landing page was actually created on a previous video. Now, in that video, I never mentioned how you can be able to generate the Instagram access token. That is why I'm actually making this video at the moment. Now, coming down to our website backend, I'm just going to click on dashboard, hover over plugins to select add new since we want to install the Stratum Elementor plugin. Now, I'm just going to come down to search plugins and search for Stratum. And this is the plugin we want to install. So, I'm just going to click on install now and then select activate. Now the next step we want to take would be to add in the Instagram access token into the Stratum Elementor widget. Now once we've installed the plugin, we should see this option in here. So I'm just going to hover over Stratum and then select settings. And this should bring us to the API settings option. So I'm just going to paste the Instagram access token in here and then select connect Instagram account. And this should bring up this interface. So we just need to click on allow. 
and this should redirect us back to our website. Lastly, we want to click on save changes. Now, say for example, we wanted to add the Instagram feeds onto our website footer, just as we did in our previous video. We simply need to come down to templates to select team builder. And in here for our website footer, I'm just going to click on edit with Elementor. So from here, we simply need to come down to search widget and search for Instagram. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this directly under our sign up form. And as we can see, we have the Instagram feed displaying on our website footer. And then we can make further customizations to this. If we wanted to make this six columns, and that's pretty much how you can be able to generate the Instagram access token as well as add it onto your website using the Stratum Elementor plugins widget. Now this may actually vary for different websites, but if you wanted a free option to be able to add an Instagram feed onto your website designed with Elementor, then this will actually be a perfect fit for you. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you got value, do all to hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.